we reported that fighting was gripping parts of Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv region, which Moscow has been trying to seize, and added that Ukraine's military was pouring men and equipment into the contested area. Ukrainian president said Kyiv's forces were gradually pushing Russian troops out of the contested area. A new video shared online demonstrated an impressive moment of destroying a Russian fighting vehicle as moving across a field. Footage begins with a Russian armored vehicle with improved protection moving across a field. Not much time had passed before the Ukrainian military detected the movement of the Russian infantry fighting vehicle and used the Javelin anti-tank missile system to strike. The moment the missile hit, the target was accurate. End bombs. A powerful explosion occurred. The crew of the Russian infantry fighting vehicle tried to escape and scattered to seek protection. A new case in the front line shows captured a Russian tank being blown up by a mine and then finished off with a well-aimed strike by a Ukrainian drone. The video initially shows the tank detonating after hitting a mine, followed by a powerful explosion, apparently caused by a Ukrainian drone strike. Thick clouds of smoke, fire, and a strong subsequent detonation can be seen. That the tank destroyed during this operation likely depicted a T-72 tank worth between 5 cents minus 4 million. The telegram channel Butusov Plus reported that the tank was destroyed by a precise drone strike by a company of attack drones from the 110th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. In dramatic footage, show a Russian tank falling into a crater when fleeing Ukrainian fire. The footage, released by Ukraine's 68th Jaeger Brigade, begins by showing drone footage of a column of Russian armored vehicles. The vehicle at the front is taken out by an explosion. Debris can be seen flying up into the air. Drones then attack the rest of the column of tanks and armored vehicles. One of the tanks, when crossing a field, drives into a large crater. A drone then targets the tank and one Russian soldier attempts to flee. A second footage shows the tank engulfed in flames and exploding. According to the video's caption, eight Russian tanks and eight infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, were destroyed. Ukrainian defense forces continue to make efforts to stabilize the situation and inflict major fire damage, the update said. Meanwhile, as reported by Reuters, Russian forces crossed into parts of Kharkiv region last month, and officials say they have seized about a dozen villages. Vitaly Gantchev, Russia appointed governor of the areas of the Kharkiv region controlled by Moscow, said Russian forces were beating back Ukraine's latest counterattacks in areas near Vyvchansk, five kilometers inside the border. There is fighting still going on in the Kharkiv sector. The fiercest clashes are in Vyvchansk and near Lipsy, Gantchev told Russian news agencies. Over the past week, Ukrainian officials have said the Russian advance is firmly under control. Ukraine's top military commander Alexander Sersky said on Telegram that Moscow's commanders were building intensity and expanding the geography of military activity. The enemy clearly understands that the gradual arrival of weapons and equipment from our partners, the arrival of the first F-16s, strengthens our air defenses, he wrote. Time is on our side and their chances of success will diminish. The Ukrainian military destroyed a Russian Grad 122mm multiple rocket launcher in the Donetsk region. Operators of the FPV drone group, Muramasa, of the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade destroyed the Russian multiple rocket launcher. They used FPV drones to destroy the MRL. According to the military, 
The Russian MRL was destroyed along with its crew in the Pokrovsky sector. The operator of the Russian Grad MRL managed to make only a few shots and was waiting for confirmation from his adjuster that he could continue working and launch the entire ammunition, noted the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. As a result of the FPB drone strike, the entire ammunition of the Russian BM-21 Grad MRL detonated. According to Ukrainian defenders, the explosion was visible from afar. Observers who monitor the course of hostilities in the Russian-Ukrainian war have discovered that a Russian Grad MRL was detected and destroyed near the temporarily occupied Abdiyevka in the Donetsk region. It is worth noting that FPV drones have become an essential technological solution in military operations, providing new opportunities to defeat the enemy. In the Russian-Ukrainian war, such UAVs have been used in various versions for several years. Previously, the Ukrainian FPV drone managed to cover tens of kilometers and hit a Grad multiple rocket launcher. A Russian BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher was hit by a drone near the village of Bohoroditsky in the Luhansk region. Two months after the Turtle Tank's debut, the Russians are still building copies at frontline workshops, and at least one regiment is asking for donations from everyday Russians to finish the work. His optimism is notable, and perhaps delusional. The 218th Tank Regiment has been conducting a grinding offensive in southern Ukraine aimed at recapturing the twin towns of Staromayorsky and Urajaini in southern Ukraine. The months-long campaign has resulted in modest gains but has cost the 218th Tank Regiment and adjacent units dozens of vehicles, including at least one T-72 Turtle Tank, which was repeatedly struck by FPV drones.